Hello, Richard here. Did you know that one mil is equal to 0.0254 millimeters? Yes, I didn't realize that until some time ago. And that's not all. A mil can also mean various other things, but we'll come to that in a moment. Now, what do I mean when I say one mil is equal to 0.0254 millimeters? Well, you see, there's more than one types of mil. Here in the UK, we take one mil to mean one millimeter. As far as I can remember, we've always said that. So if something's three millimeters, we'd call it three mil. If something's five millimeters, we call it five mil. Now, it seems that in North America, things are a little bit different, and the mill is actually an official unit of measure, which is equal to one thousandth of an inch. Now, I can't believe I was oblivious to this all these years. I've been in engineering nearly 40 years on and off, and I'd never come across mill as a thousandth of an inch. There are two reasons why I came across this. First of all, I had a comment on one of my previous videos where somebody said, when you're referring to mill, do you mean millimetres? And I thought, well, what else can I be referring to? A mill is a millimetre. So that sort of made me think, why is, why is someone questioning that? But what really zoned me onto it was a couple of months ago, I was watching the congressional hearings for the Challenger space shuttle disaster, mainly because it's a really interesting engineering video. It's an interesting video in terms of uh, engineering ethics. There's one particular moment in this video, and bear in mind, this was 28 hours of video, and <laughs> yeah, I watched all of it. So not in one go, I might add. So let's take a look at the clip. There was another uh, set of data that correlated to low temperature that was presented by Thiokol that night, that mean, yeah. and that was the full-scale testing on joint segment field joints that, uh, that were done with an O-ring that was 5 mils undersize and a durometer of 90. The hardness of the O-ring was 90 as opposed to 75. So in the clip, you could see Larry Malloy from NASA talking about uh, tolerances on O-rings, and he referred to tolerances being 5 mils, which is... Uh, a lot different to what I thought, which would be five millimeters. And just watching the video, I thought, well, five millimeters, blimey, that's a lot, you know? And um, just sort of, sort of set a little bell ringing in my head as to that can't be right. So I looked into it a bit more and I discovered that, yeah, in North America, a mill doesn't mean what a mill means over here. Now, in the UK, mill is unofficial. It's, it's just an abbreviation we use. We don't say millimeters. It's millimeters is a very long word. We, so we say mills um, in America. In North America, apparently, you also say mills. Now, I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, if any of our American friends can elaborate on this, because obviously over here in the UK, I'm not aware of your sort of engineering practices, but in the USA, do you still use mills as a measurement? Or have you lessened the use of the word mills to avoid confusion with millimeters? Because uh, let's face it, if you had a British engineer went over to America to work and someone said, take two mills off the diameter of this piece of work, two millimeters is a lot different than two thousandths of an inch. So. Um, do you still use that? Let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to know how that works. I said before as well that there are other uses of mill, just to add to the confusion. Maybe less so because other uses aren't really related to length measurements. So the other use of mills is, if you've ever been involved with telescopic sites, you've probably heard of mill dot scopes because a mill is also a measure of angle. One mill in terms of angle is also known as an MRAD, which is a milli radian. So it's a thousandth of a radian. And that's used a lot by the military. Um, I believe the military use it in military maps and, as I said, also in telescopic sites. But there is also another use of mills, apparently. The plot thickens. And the other use... Again, predominantly in North America, as I understand it, is that mills is also an official unit of measure of currency. It's actually a thousandth of a dollar. And I believe that's still used in some stock market and sort of finance transactions or financial transactions. Also in the energy business for uh, when they want to work to three decimal places. Mill actually comes from the Latin mill, which is M-I-L-L-E. So that's where we get words like millennium and uh, million. Million being a million, not a thousand. I know, it gets confusing, doesn't it? So I guess you could say, when is a mill not a mill? And the answer is, when it's a mill. Yeah, confusing, isn't it? Units often are. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. And uh, just remember, if someone asks you to machine two mil off a component, quite a lot could depend on what part of the world you're in.